Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and we are now leaving Amsterdam and heading for Cologne. So, in this video, I'm going to show you some scenes along the way from Amsterdam to Cologne, right off the top deck of the riverboat. So, come join me and let's see what it looks like leaving Amsterdam with the scenery along the way. You see this boat? right there that's docked there that is a Botel it's kind of hard to read those letters but it says Botel like a motel <laughs> wow look at this big building that is completely on the water you can see underneath there and this one as well that is off the shoreline. There's another really long river boat. And these are shots just as we're leaving Amsterdam. Look at all these huge buildings. And they are all off of the riverbanks. So it's on the river, not on the land. Here's another unusual building. That square disc on top. I wonder if it rotates. Over there on the right hand side as well, here on the right hand side as well as on the island that is coming up. All used to be, um, let's say, uh, yeah, storage this buildings is a for the Hawaiian the Margarita. They said storage buildings, <laughs> uh, and that means, uh, yeah, what warehouses uh, for the big ships. This is the river that leaves Amsterdam going north. It's the A River. They pronounce it A, but they spell it I J. <laughs> Something about Dutch. Now we've turned into the Amsterdam Rhine Canal. But Rhine is not spelled the same as the river. I think this Rhine is R I J N. I saw that somewhere. And this is why ships like this can only have four floors, because they have to fit under bridges, some of which just barely make it, like this one. But the uh, boats make up for it by being very, very long. Well, now we're going through the town of Utrecht. And this apartment building, our condo, it's got a really nice view of the canal. A little park there. This is the very front of the boat. This is the next day. We're on the Rhine River and we are coming into the town of Dusseldorf. We're not stopping here. We're going on to Cologne, which is just a little further down the river from Dusseldorf. Here's an interesting building with that platform on top. And I noticed here this bridge, see that big tower with the cables? You don't have that on this side. There's no tower like that on that side of the river. And here's a building with a big tall spire. Wonder what that is. My room on the boat is on the first floor where the rooms have just these small windows. So most of my room is underwater. <laughs> That's why I can't have a window that opens the rest of these and, and floor two and three 
they can completely open their windows there and just stand and watch the water. It's not a balcony where they can go out, but it's like open access to the water. Wonder what that steeple is. See what else is over here to the right. Here's a closer shot of the top of that tower there. Got three three levels there. Wonder what all that is. This looks like a residential area that is pretty close to the river. Those big buildings, apartment buildings, I guess, or condos. Lots of interesting buildings really close to the river here. And a really thick row of buildings. I wonder if those are residential or commercial, I don't know. Probably both. Look what's over on this side. A big mob of sheep. Big herd of sheep. I guess it's sheep. Lots of them. Where are they running off to? <laughs> Ain't gonna get away. We're now coming into Cologne and I see a campground here. See those campers? Interesting. The large majority of RVs in Europe, from what I understand, are travel traders like that. They just don't have the big Class A's like we do here in America. There's some of the buildings just outside of Cologne. Well, now we're really into Cologne. We're going to stop here and take a walk around town. Several boats, similar to ours here. Well, I think this has been a very interesting start of the cruise. Please let me know in the comments below how you like the way I presented the scenery. Good day folks.